I am on my way to Walgreens. I have about two hours to shop today before we have to go to church. Or until we get to go to church. How about that? <laughs> um, but I'm going to go to Walgreens and then I'm going to try to go to CVS. And if I have time, I'm going to go to Publix. And, uh, sorry, I hate this angle, but it's the most comfortable for me when I'm driving. You know, the thing about the drugstores with me is that although they can have totally awesome deals, it's actually way harder to score at the drugstore than it is at the grocery store. In that, the... A lot of the deals that you're going to get at the drugstore are dependent upon register rewards or extra care bucks or whatever. And at the grocery store, obviously, that's not the case. Well, when your deals are dependent upon register rewards and your Walgreens continuously, habitually sells out of the free after register rewards or whatever products and even though they will give you a rain check they will not give you a rain check for the register reward amount then you're pretty much out of luck you know what I mean so that really really sucks CVS on the other hand and I think I've mentioned this in another video CVS on the other hand will give you a rain check with the extra care bucks amount um, and they actually rarely sell out of something especially right away on Sunday morning um, there's been many times I've gone to the 24 hour Walgreens here because there's probably about five Walgreens stores in my 10 minute driving area um, and only one of them is 24 hours. But I've gone there early on Sunday morning and they've been sold out of things because people come at midnight or in the middle of the night and get everything. And for some freaking reason, they don't order enough stuff to cover anything. And I mean, yeah, I understand that they're taking a hit or whatever on the register rewards, but I'm confused really whether that's total manufacturer's coupons or if that's Walgreens, because, because if it's manufacturer's, then why don't they do more? I don't know. You understand what I mean. It's frustrating when they advertise a deal and then they're out of it on Sunday morning, let alone the whole rest of the week. Like, when's the normal people going to get anything? So I try my best not to clear a shelf at Walgreens. I mean, I try my best anywhere, but especially at Walgreens, because I know that they're not going to even restock it. Uh, so anyway, I'm here at Walgreens. i got to go in there and see if I can get some deals. Well, as I suspected, they didn't have what I really wanted, what I got up at 7.30 for. So, of course, I'm not happy about that. Ugh. They were all out of the clean and clear body wash that was buy one, get one free, and I had a buy one, get one free coupon. Actually, I had four or five of them. Um, so, the Walgreens fiasco. Um, okay, so the deal was that you buy two jumbo packs of Pampers diapers, which really aren't jumbo at all. They're just the regular size, um, package of Pampers. But you buy two at $9 each and you get a $3 register reward. Well, they had $2 coupons in the uh, March issue of Ebony Magazine. There's also $1.50 coupons floating around. Um, and then there was another deal that Southern Savers told me about that when you spend $20 on Pampers items, you get a $5 register reward. 
So it was going to work out if you buy the 60 count Pampers wipes and you had the 50 cent off coupon or dollar off coupon or whatever. And then you buy the two jumbo packs of Pampers with the two dollar off coupon. And there was a two dollar coupon in the infant care Walgreens book. Um, after all was said and done, after register rewards, it was going to be like $1.66 a piece per product. Well, my Walgreens didn't have the infant care booklet, but they said that they would price modify the diapers for me. Well, the problem therein lies that with two jumbo packs of diaper price modified down to $7, then after the wipes, which they didn't have the 60 count $2.99 wipes, they only had the $3.79 72 count wipes. We were only going to be at $17.79 plus tax. So I wasn't going to get over that $20 mark for that mythical $5 register reward. Well, um, so I got another package of wipes. So in the end, I ended up getting two jumbo packs of diapers, which are the regular size, little pack of diapers, size fives, and um, two boxes of Pampers wipes. I paid out of pocket $18.10. And then my $3 register reward printed, but I did not get a $5 register reward. I got a $5 off any Pampers product of $5 or more. If, am I happy about that? Um, no, not necessarily. I'm not. Um, a register reward is much more valuable to me than a $5 off Pampers coupon. But in the end, it is what it is. And I don't count my extra care, but, or I don't count my register rewards twice anyway. So I'm not going to apply that $8 in coupons slash register rewards to my purchase today. So I paid $18.10 for two packs of diapers and two packages of wipes, which in the end is about regular price anyway. Um, so I'm not very happy about that. If I had had some register rewards to spend, uh, along with some fillers, it would have been obviously a much better deal. That's why I like to roll my register rewards, but whatever. Next time I buy Pampers diapers on sale, I'll be getting a pretty good price. And, you know, I might be able to go back and uh, get another pack of jumbo diapers for uh, $4 because they're on sale for $9 this week. I don't know. I think it's a manufacturer's coupon, but I don't know if it's Walgreens specific or not. I don't know if I could use it someplace else. Um, Walmart might have a better deal. I don't know. Anyway not too pleased with the whole situation, but I was glad that they were able to work with me. The other part of the Walgreens deal was the Clean and Clear Body Wash, which I told you I had just called. They said they had a lot of it, or they didn't say they had a lot of it, they had, said they had some when I asked them if they had some. Well, I went there, they only had three bottles on the counter and the girl was going back to the back to already look for another customer and they were completely out. So, whatever, I ended up getting two free bottles of body wash, so that kind of evens things out a little bit, I guess. And I got a rain check for four more deals. Uh, the coupon expires on uh, next Sunday, though, so if I'm not able to get some within the next week, then I'm SOL on that. So here's my haul vi video, you guys. Um, this is all Walgreens. Four boxes of tissues, two body washes, one razor, four panty liners, one sunburn gel, uh, one next care bandages and uh, we needed this so I figured I'd pick this up and this was quite expensive but it did have a two dollar coupon on it which was a surprise and that was great. Um, then at another Walgreens I got the two diapers and the two wipes and this is all for Walgreens. Total Walgreens out of pocket was twenty seven dollars and thirty cents I ended up getting a $3 register reward for um, buying the two jumbo packs of Pampers. And then I thought I was going to get a $5 register reward, but I got the $5 off any Pampers diapers. It says manufacturer's coupons, so um, 
Walmart will accept these. I don't know. I'm not sure of any other store that will accept them, but it's a pretty good coupon, I guess. Not as good as $5 in register rewards. Here's the $3.99 um, rebate, mail-in rebate that prints after you buy this uh, sunburn lotion. So you got to mail that in and get your rebate. And then this uh, Try Me Free rebate was on the Next Care bandages, but here's the thing. I can actually get two more boxes for free with this rebate because it says you can buy any of these types. Maximum one rebate of up to $3.99 per each type of Next Care bandages. So I've got more coupons for those. Um, so I can go back and get a Soft and Flex bandages and I can go back and get um, Active Waterproof um, bandages if they have them. So for a total of $11.97 in uh, mail-in rebates on that. The Carefree, there was a coupon in today's paper for a dollar off any Carefree product. These were 99 cents. Um, so they're going to have to adjust those down to 99 cents. And again, that earache relief, this is like the name brand, which was on sale for the same price as the Walgreens brand. And that was on sale for $8.99 and it had a $2 coupon on uh, the package. So that worked out being a, a good deal. The Kleenexes were $0.89 cents a piece with the in-ad coupon. And then I used a $3 register reward. A Actually, I ended up using for the whole transaction over here, um, I ended up using three $3 register rewards, one uh, dollar register reward, and the $5 register reward that I got back on the Perglide I used for my second transaction on that. Um, I will work out what the what the Pampers products cost after register rewards and this coupon. Although I would not um, see it like that. What I see it as is eighteen ten um, total. So whatever eighteen ten divided by four is, that's what I paid for these products. There are coupons inside of these uh, diaper packages though, which is a cool thing.